Hello and welcome to the U.S. Men's Lacrosse National Team Series, Home Soil. I'm your host, Pete Medhurst. This summer, U.S. Men's Lacrosse National Teams take the field in San Diego in hopes of capturing a gold medal in this year's 2023 World Lacrosse Men's Championships. U.S. National Teams have been here before. They won gold at the 2018 World Championships in Israel and have been a dominant force for many years. In this episode, we will sit down with U.S. Men's National Team goalie Blaze Reardon. Blaze's story is the most unique in the game of lacrosse, and his path was not always clear. But ultimately, all roads in his life have led him to representing U.S. national teams this summer on home soil. You have the national team, these players looking to impress. Good coaching and execution by Team USA. And finally, a little spark. This U.S. team is absolutely loaded. We have stars all over the field. The 2023 World Championships are the pinnacle of the lacrosse world, and this summer, all eyes will be on San Diego. Here's a look at what fans can expect out of the World Championships in 2023. This summer, the best lacrosse players from around the world will meet at the 2023 World Lacrosse Men's Championships with one thing on their mind, winning gold. This year, the stakes are higher. More than 30 countries, more than 100 games, and it all takes place in San Diego, California. Some of the countries competing include the USA, Canada, Japan, England, Australia, Jamaica, Uganda, the Haudenosaunee, and many more. The World Lacrosse Championships is a unique opportunity for the world to come together to celebrate the medicine game. The host Snapdragon Stadium provides a great venue for high-level global competition that fans will love. From June 21st to July 1st, U.S. national teams will embark on a quest for greatness. 23 of the best players from the United States will look to come together as a team to attempt to claim gold for the 11th time, and they will look to do it on home soil. This year's World Championships are building up to be the best ever. Team USA will face some tough competition in their mission to keep the gold medal on home soil. When we come back, we'll hear from one of the most unique lacrosse players in the game whose path is like none other, outdoor goalie and indoor forward, Blaze Reardon. On the sidelines, in the locker room, and between the pipes, Blaze Reardon is someone that people instantly gravitate towards when they meet him. The infectious personality that started in his hometown of Fairport, New York, continued into his collegiate days at Albany and still remains with him in his new home of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I'm Blaze Reardon. I grew up in Fairport, New York. Currently play for the Philadelphia Wings in the NLL and the Chaos Lacrosse Club in the PLL. I'm a member of the 2023 U.S. Men's National Team. It's weird, denied him. Growing up in Fairport, New York, for me, was everything I could ever ask for and more. Um, a community that was safe, was caring, was supportive, 
a lacrosse program that was was built through legendary players like uh, Tim Sudan and Jacques Monty and guys that just you know introduced us to the game so early and were able to fall in love and lastly it brought me all my best friends guys that to this day I still talk to and we still talk about the times that we had as public school kids living in Fairport High School and just enjoying being upstate kids and running wild. My dad introduced me to the game. My dad coached me from the time I was born until the time he sent me off to college. And the game was kind of instilled into my blood. From the time I can remember, I always had a stick in my hand and the passion was there. An easy way to describe it is it has everything you need, but not too much. Um, and the not too much part is compounded with just people that actually care about you and love you. We don't need, you know, the big houses and, and the big boats and all this. All we need is each other and, um, you know, good vibes. When you get to the collegiate level, yes, you have a choice of what door you're gonna walk in, but behind that door, you don't know. You know, there's nothing for certain. And in every sense of the way, I, f I felt secure, I felt confident, um, I felt loved, um, like truly loved. And when those three pillars are, are checked off, now it allows you to be a kid and to live the life that you want and take on experiences and make mistakes and, you know, a, and, and just grow because you know that you have that support and you know that you have that love and that gives you the confidence to really, you know, spread your wings and be who you are. And um, if it wasn't for Coach Marr, uh, I don't know if I, I would be who I am today. Coach Marr saw me as an attackman. He didn't even see me playing goalie and recruited me at, at that position where I then let him know like, hey, I'm kind of more known for my goaltending ability. Um, and he's like, oh, well, we have a goalie in your class already, but, you know, you're a lefty shooter. We could use you on man up. I'm like, well, can I play goalie too? And I knew my hero growing up was Brett Queener. Um, and I knew he went to Albany and he played both and showed up my first day at the University of Albany and in my locker were both sets of gear. And without Coach Mars' belief in me, without the decision that I make, I don't think that opportunity would have came anywhere else. I think he's the only coach that's ever done it at that level. The people that were surrounded with me on my team, along with the coaching staff, and then eventually to what you see today and what you hear with the whole Dane Train mantra of the people in the community, you know, showing up and supporting us and cheering us on. And they didn't have to do that. They don't, they didn't know me. They took a chance on me and being inside your home is the most comfortable place in the world. You know, they're your walls, they're your thoughts, they're your people. You choose who walks through that door. And without Coach Mars belief in me, he gave me those keys. Um, scored a couple goals on Man Up, hung out with the Thompsons, and next thing you know, I'm playing Junior B lacrosse on the Aquazusney Mohawk Reservation my freshman year summer. And from there, I was like, well, here's, here's my avenue. Philadelphia um, is unique in that it's um, very passionate about its sports and it goes both ways. Um, you talk about growing up in a small hometown of Fairport where I really could do no wrong on the lacrosse aspect of the field. You know, if I made zero saves and we won zero games, I wouldn't have people booing at me, right? Um, whereas Philly is a blue collar city. Uh, people work, they earn their money and they spend it and they expect results. And, it's part of being a professional athlete is that you're going to feel the pressure um, and that you're going to get both sides of it. They're people that truly care. So in a in a, the worldwide spectrum, I still feel that sense of people that know everything that's going on in my life will tell me when I'm doing great and will tell me when I need to be better. And um, they'll keep me true to myself. I've been lucky to ha be surrounded with people that that's all I've ever known. Um, I haven't seen it any other way. and. Um, you know, I go back to that upstate chip uh, my whole life, you know, he's too big to be successful. He's not athletic enough. Professional cross players don't make enough money. That's not a, that's not a real profession. 
Well, here I am. My whole life, uh, this is where my heart's been. It's been with the game of lacrosse. It just leads me to just want to be great in every aspect of, of life and in the game. All I do is play lacrosse and teach lacrosse and promote lacrosse. And I'm living the absolute dream um, against all odds. And the, the compete's still there and my love for the game. And I'm like a kid at the candy shop every time I get on the plane, getting ready for a weekend to play lacrosse. When we come back, you'll hear more from Blaze on how he went from playing the man up at Albany to becoming the starting netminder for USA. If we could take a little bit of Blaze's spirit and put it into everyone, the world would truly be a better place. That spirit is helping Blaze prepare for his biggest challenge to date, playing goalie for USA. Going into USA, just coming off um, what people were considering the best season of a professional goalie has ever had. Uh, the second goalie to ever win an MVP award. I won a championship uh, where I was named MVP of that game, a goalie of the year, you know. You feel like you have it all. Uh, can't lose at that point, right? There's nothing else that I have that I can bring to the table besides what I've received. And it was the exact opposite. Um, one thing that I've learned um, in this game is never take anything, any moment for granted. Um, this is, was my first time trying out for the team, so the nerves of, you know, what to expect and going against the best players in the world where I knew, you know, on any given day, they could outperform me. So the pressure of being the goalie along with the pressure of knowing that the six guys, you know, that are competing against you are all more than capable of making you look like the worst goalie there. You're competing with yourself and you're competing with those guys and it's a lot and the honor of being selected to even try out comes with that territory and I knew that. <laughs> One thing that I admire um, about being a professional athlete is the guys that I'm around um, off the floor. Uh, I see how hard they work. Um, you know, they're all successful in their own way and they kind of motivate you to want to be the best version of yourself and this was no different during this tryout. Um, I knew that if I was content or I slowed down, they were going to catch up to me. So I really thought that it brought the best version um, when, you know, at the time it would have been easy for me to be content. Uh, I have them to thank because they made me take the next step. And um, that next step eventually led to me being selected, um, one of the two goalies selected to the team. And um, you're only as good as the people you surround yourself with. And the credit goes to them. My dad kept saying, you know, whether you make it or not, there's still, these people are still gonna believe in, in you. And I wanna say that helped, but at the time it didn't because to me it was, it's all or nothing. It's either, it's either I was good enough or I wasn't. And this was the ultimate stage. You know, I remember giving all the coaches a hug and they all said the same thing to me. They said, it's over, buddy. You can be yourself, just be you. We just want Blaze to be Blaze. And I was like, wow. I'm like, it's all I needed. It's all I needed to hear. And after that moment, I'm back to who I am. I'm back to the confidence. I'm back to the compete. I'm back to, I'm Blaze Ridden and, and this is who they wanted and this is what they're gonna get and they're gonna get the best version of myself. Being a member of the US uh, men's national team, the lacrosse word in that comes second to being part of the U.S. USA. men's national, right? That's the part that really hits home for me. I'm a very proud American. Um, my stepsister just retired out of the Navy. Uh, I have a bunch of buddies that currently serve. And as someone that cares about others, you know, you can't care any more than to go and serve your country and for the people that have lost their lives for me without even knowing who I am or know I exist. I mean, that's, you know, putting others before yourself. And without those sacrifices and, out, and without that unselfishness of those people, there is no U.S. men's national lacrosse team. It just adds a little extra pressure. Uh, the magnitude's there, you know, there's gonna be a lot of red, white, and blue in the, in the crowd. It's gonna be televised. Uh, people all along this country are gonna see the USA and without even knowing the game of lacrosse, 
they're going to be rooting for us because of those those colors and because of those three letters on the front of our jersey. There's only going to be a group of 23 men that have the opportunity to bring that pride, uh, not only to ourselves, but to this country and the people that we love. And um, it comes with a tremendous amount of responsibility. Being home definitely, you know, loosens the mood a little bit. Uh, we're right at home and now all we got to do is play lacrosse. When I look in the mirror before I, I go on this journey and to this tournament to, to win that gold, um, I'm going to be able to look at the person in the mirror and know that I've done everything in my power to be the best version of myself. Um, my mind's clear. The confidence is there. We've been on Zooms. We've gone over the X's and O's. Um, I know everything about all the guys on my team. Um, I trust them. I respect them. And uh, there's really no more boxes to cross off than to go out there and when the whistle blows, put everything that you've worked for uh, your entire life um, to work on the biggest stage. And it's the game of lacrosse. It's not checkers or chess. If we were able to dictate the outcome, I'd feel very confident in that outcome. But I know it's the game of lacrosse and I know the team standing across from us um, is gonna do everything in their power to take that dream away. What I look forward to most about this experience is the forever memories. You know, what a life, man, what a life. How lucky am I? I got, you talk about my family, I got cousins, um, I got high school coaches, I got friends, I got my entire family, you know, giving up 10 days of their life to watch me do what I love. And they're there because of the unconditional love and support that I've gotten my entire career. You know, the grind of eight games in 10 days and just being able to talk about it, you know, for eternity, um, those moments and, you know, the flight over and everything that we did to get in that situation and all the hard times and, you know, here we are. Um, is just what life is all about and stuff that I'm gonna remember and the people I'll remember and you know bring to the grave with me for sure. With that energy, we're sure that Blaze will not only be a joy to his teammates in San Diego, but to anyone else that has the opportunity to interact with him. When we come back, we'll hear from a man who's working to ensure that both U.S. men's lacrosse national teams and the sport of lacrosse as a whole are set up for success in the present and in the future. The upstate New York roots run deep for Blaze and have made him into the all-world goalie that he is today. Someone with similar upstate roots is USA Lacrosse CEO Mark Riccio. We had the opportunity to speak with him about the initiatives that USA Lacrosse is pushing in preparation for and beyond the World Championships. To have it on home soil is, uh, we're very grateful for that opportunity to showcase the games here in the States. I would strongly believe my um, affection for my hometown is no different than every one of these players on this roster. Every one of these players beams with pride when they talk about home. For me, home sits at the center of how lacrosse was very good to me. Our great strength is our lacrosse community. It is welcoming, it is dynamic, it is uh, something really special. You know, the, the spiritual and native roots of this game, the creator's game gifted to us by the Native Americans, is part of that origin story, and that makes this community so special. The national team's high performance team has done a great job so far. We certainly have high expectations and high hopes for a gold medal but the reality is the outcome is uncertain. And the Americans win! Certainly I would assume we're gonna be one of the favorite nations as, as defending world champion, but Canada is awesome. Haudenosaunee, awesome. Japan is gonna be the next great international competitive nation in lacrosse. So you just never know. Hope we give them a run for their money, I should say. I'm certainly excited to, to see them and I'm, I'm excited to see who surprises us? There's always going to be a nation that kind of steps forward and like, whoa, whoa, didn't see that coming. They're pretty good. And that's going to be exciting to watch. One, two, three, USA! Success for Team USA 
first and foremost is going out competing playing hard playing the right way representing your country and your teammates to the best of your ability beyond that ultimately success is a gold medal is a world championship um, there isn't a player or coach or even person in this building uh, who would answer differently if you go out and you lose but you lose with your head held high and you left everything on the field as a player and as a person it, it's all we can ask for Blaze is one of just 23 players that will get the honor to go to battle for USA Lacrosse this summer. We'd like to thank Blaze, along with our gracious sponsors, for allowing us the opportunity to tell his story. For more information on how you can support USA Lacrosse and begin your own journey on the field, head over to usalacrosse.com. On behalf of USA Lacrosse and NLSE, I'm your host, Pete Medhurst. Join us next time for another origin story on the next episode of Home Soil.